The Four Seasons Inn is located in West Dover, in Vermont's beautiful Green Mountains. Former construction worker Sandy McDougall purchased the inn, which has 14 bedrooms and an adjacent kennel, as the culmination of a lifelong dream. Since I was a kid, I've always wanted to own an inn. I always wanted to be able to please people and give them a happy experience. The smell really <clears throat> does me in a little bit. Yeah. yeah. A hair was found. A what? A dog hair. A dog hair? Impossible. This is a dream come true. It's a beautiful inn. It's a great place. It's a little slice of heaven. I don't know what kind of stain that is, but I don't want to lay in it. Well, I thought it was. After only two years, Sandy's slice of heaven has turned into hell. I need to know why the phones are not working. It's been nothing but hemorrhaging money. The inn's bedrooms are almost always empty, and despite marketing itself as a dog-friendly hotel, the kennel lies unused. Current standing into the inn, cash-wise, $1.15 million out of my but it's terrific. I'm glad I was able to help with that. Richard's my marketing director. I should be beating the hell out of him every day because he sucks. Richard, what's up? With no money coming in, the inn survives with just a skeleton crew who live in the inn for free instead of receiving a salary. And then I drink. Uh, I don't get paid, so it's not really a job. It's more volunteering. I don't really call it a job. Jesus. Where's my money? I want my money. I'm not getting paid. I hit rock bottom. As of this morning, I'm officially maxed out on three cards and $14 in my bank account. Well, I'll get the door. Sandy is genuinely a nice guy, but staff does not get paid. This is terrible. There's endless complaints about everything. Kind of reminds me of the nursing home I worked at. Why well, we get paid the big dollars? Fuck you, Steve. Sandy's own worst enemy is Sandy. Why the hell is the grill on? Sandy's best friend is his dog, Layla, who lives with him at the inn. Layla is an English setter. She's the greeter. She'll come in the dining room. She'll sit at your feet. The guests complain about dog hair everywhere, and it makes them feel disgusting. Dogs have hair. Dogs have dander. Dogs drool. I mean, dogs lick their own butt. You don't want them anywhere around the kitchen. Most days, there are more rooms occupied by the staff than guests. And if things don't turn around soon, this dog-friendly inn will have to be put to sleep. Sandy's ragged, beaten. We all are. If Gordon can't save this place, Four Seasons Inn is proper fucked. I can't let this hotel go. <sighs> he's running out of time, he's running out of money, and he's running out of energy. This is the death rattle. This is it. Good God, I can't be that screwed up, am I? This is exciting. I'm back in Vermont, heading towards the Four Seasons Inn. Trust me, I've stayed in a lot of crappy hotels, and I'm finally getting to stay in something sumptuous and amazing, the Four Seasons Inn. I've stayed at Four Seasons all over the world. They're fabulous hotels that define luxury, so this week should be a dream. Hello? Oh, God. Well, it certainly doesn't look like a Four Seasons to me. Oof. Hello. I was hoping for a dream, but this place looks like another nightmare. How are you, Garden? My first name is? It's Garden. I know what my name is. Thank you. My name is Sandy. Reception's calling sick? No, she is around. I will take care of that for you. OK, follow. great. Happy to uh, check in. We have 18 rooms in the end. The rooms are beautiful. What a fucking mess. Nice to see the bed be made. I'm surprised I'm still standing after I opened that door. I swear to God, I thought I was going to shit myself. Do you have a room that's actually ready? Yes, I do. Thank you, sir. Hey, I'm a bit late for the old party. Uh, Sandy, hello? Oh, well. Really, the one room they don't make up. Aaron? Yeah? Run. I am pissed off. Room four is done yes, and ready to right go. Go up and check. There's just no excuse for not getting the rooms done on a timely fashion. This is my worst nightmare. Sandy? Sandy? Oh, hello. Hi. How are you? Yeah, rather. I was showing to the honeymoon suite. Oh, hey, I'm Aaron. I've lost Sandy. <laughs> this is, I've lost Sandy. It's a bit bizarre. Sandy is very scared of his 
his guests because he doesn't like when people like talk down about, you know, his inn or his food and stuff like that. So he hides in the kitchen. He showed me into the room that wasn't made and. Yeah, well, we're, we're yeah, we, oh, we're kind of in the okay. middle of doing all of them. And wh what do you do? I'm the massage therapist here, and I do hula hoop instructing, and also the. <laughs> <laughs> Just say that again. The hula hoop instructing. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> and obviously, uh, a huge demand of Vermont for hula hoop dancers, right? Uh, not at all here in Vermont, but wow. I don't know. I kind of picked it up, and I liked it. So. Um, you got another room for me? Yes, I do. Okay, great. Hula hoop instructor. Wow, fuck me, that's the first. Ah, at least the bed's made. Thank God for that. Thank you. Wow, this wallpaper, um, it's, uh, it's eye-catching, right? It came with the place. Right. Um, I have to be honest, I mean, I've been very fortunate enough to stay in lots of Four Seasons, but I haven't seen one quite like this. How long have you been affiliated? Ah, uh, we're not affiliated. We're the Four Seasons Inn. Oh, so you're not a Four Seasons? We're the Four Seasons Inn. But you're not a Four Seasons? No, no affiliation. Can you get away with that, legally? Yep. But they call themselves the Four Seasons. Where are the Four Seasons in? Incredible. And next month is going to be the Waldorf Astoria Lodge. No. No, I'm just... No, no. Um, well, I'm going to uh, unpack. Thank you, sir. Fuck me. Uh, four Seasons, yeah. More like four shades of shit. Wow. I've just found out that the Four Seasons Inn is about as far away from a luxury hotel as you can get. I need to find out what's really going on here. How are you? I'm good. So how long have you been here? About five months. I came here uh, to do like massage therapy and stuff, but then we didn't have like a really call for it because it was slow, so I just started housekeeping. Do you ever stay here? I, I do. Oh, you do? Yeah, I live here. How does that work uh, salary-wise? I mean... I don't get one. <laughs> what do you mean you don't get one? I've never gotten a paycheck. You're joking. No. So I'm kind of scared to ask him about it. <laughs> I'm not too wicked excited about not getting a paycheck, but I don't have a full-on conversation with Sandy about it because I am scared that he's going to yell at me and I just don't want to take it. God, so how can you treat this place professionally if you're not getting paid? In? You can't really, I guess, treat it professionally. You can't, no. Like, yeah. Bloody hell. Yeah. No one gets paid. What an embarrassment. Take it, eh? I can't believe Sandy doesn't pay his housekeeper. Oh, God. No wonder my room was such a mess. I hope the food here is better than the rooms. It's lonely in here. Where the hell is everybody? Hello. Hello. My name's Gwen. Gwen, nice to see you. Where did you pop out of? <laughs> uh, Popped out of the kitchen. <laughs> Gonna get you started with a glass of water here. <laughs> uh, hi, Layla. <laughs> That's Layla. She kind of runs the house here, yeah, if you haven't met her yet. Yeah, she seems busier than the owner. <laughs> um, entrees. I'll have the mushroom ravioli. Sounds delicious. Let's go for the salmon as well after that. Cut with apples, finish with maple glaze, and a apple risotto. And you would like the apple risotto. OK, great. All right. She's placing an order. Man them up. I'm so nervous, I'm trying not to puke. I puked last night before service and uh, after service, and I'll probably do the same tonight. Apple risotto with the salmon, salmon seared. Not cooked through. You yes. got it, baby. I think we're going to knock all the socks off with the food. Fantastic. All right, well, we have some bread for you. What do you think? Yeah, disgusting. It's just so heavy and doughy. Oh. You eat that? Uh. Curry bread. <laughs> You'll eat anything. Gordon did not approve of the curry bread. Oh, Lord. Sandy, being a business owner with no culinary experience or training in any way. That's what I was saying last night, it's doughy. I don't feel that he should be back in the kitchen working. Later. Oh, oh shit, I thought you'd gone. Stay with me, girl. It's only curry bread. I'm hoping these next couple of dishes are at least edible. Send it. Flavor. Flavor. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of flavor here. Jesus. What was that? Uh, mushroom ravioli. Did the dog just throw up on my plate? I hope not. Wow. Jesus, God. How is it? Um, weird. Are the pastas undercooked? Bizarre. Thank you. Sorry. No, it's not your fault. What's the main problems with this place? 
um, management. I mean, the management is Sandy, right? Yeah. I've worked for him and haven't received checks. Oh, wow. Staff have worked hard mm -hmm. and not been paid. Yeah. Wow. Jeez, that's tough. Sandy can be extremely hard to work with and for. Bizarre and weird. Good God, can this get any worse? He said it's undercooked. OK. All food in-house right now that is coming off of this menu, none of it is local, none of it is fresh. Sandy's menu is garbage. Hello, oh, good. Good afternoon. Customer, right? Richard. Oh, Richard, I'm sorry. First time we met. And Richard, you're not a customer. What do you do? I work with Sandy on ideas for marketing. When was the last big idea you put into the last Four Seasons? The last big idea we had was purchasing lift tickets at a discounted rate. Right. I would have fired you five months ago. Coming into the summer, what's the next big plan? In I can present plenty of, plenty of ideas, but he has to accept them. I'm frustrated. I feel that the ideas I bring to him are helpful. They would work, but Sandy... He's just not listening. And here is your salmon. Excellent. Thank you, my darling. Enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. Good God. I hope it's at least halfway good. And that is a apple risotto. Wow. What a pile of shit. That sums it up on that plate there. He's as good a chef as he is an innkeeper. Fucking useless. I can't believe I've not seen Sandy once through my whole meal. What sort of innkeeper ignores his guests and hides in the kitchen? Well, if you won't come to me... Just give me that knife now. Hi, guys. Hi. Uh, I'm Steve Dixon. Steve, good to see you, bud. Bill. Bill, nice good to see you. see you too, bud. I'm trying to get a grasp on what I've just eaten. I know you're the owner. Yes. But you're the head chef as well. Buzz, we're working together now in town. So you're both head chefs? I've, I'm... I, I, I'm, not, I, I'm not exactly sure where I fit in. It, it, it's not my menu. I'm not doing any ordering. I feel with Sandy right now, a little thrown under the bus. I feel a little betrayed right now. The risotto was sweet. What was in there? Apple juice? Apple concentrate, chef. An apple concentrate in a risotto? Yes, sir. Come on. It, it's not my menu, chef. So this is all you're doing, then? Yeah. Oh, my god. I just have five minutes on it yes. on my own with the owner. Would you mind? Yes, sure. <sighs> you know, how do you expect something magical when it's coming out of a fucking can? 23 fucking years I wait to give them fucking apple juice concentrate. I just feel absolutely destroyed. My food is so much better than what I just fucking gave Gordon. The fuck? And you know, how am I going to go home and face my kids when they're all proud of me? And I'm like, he fucking dogged our food. You know, that's not why I became a chef. If you're in the kitchen cooking, who's running the inn? Honestly, I'm here and I'm busting my butt trying to get it to where it should be. There's no one running this inn. That's the problem. Apart from being soulless, it's rudderless. It's just a free-for-all. You've checked out. No, I haven't. Why would anyone come and stay here? Because it's a nice place in the country. It's like a house of madness. Yeah, but it's... It starts with you, Sandy. Everyone's saying the management, the management, the management. Everybody's blaming the management. The management's you. What a joke. I'm ready to burn the building down. The one thing Vermont's fake Four Seasons has going for it is its beautiful riverside location. Lovely. What's that building over there? A guest house? It's a dog kennel. Is it used? No, the kennel doesn't do anything. Radiant heat floor, renewable energy with pellets in the furnace. They're cramped and bare. It looks like a prison. And what's through here? This is a giant indoor play area for the dogs. A play area? I wouldn't put my dog in a place like this. What a waste. But it all looks unused. They are. Jeez. My marketing executive sucks. I think you're right. Crazy. <laughs> Word has got out that I'm in town, so the Four Seasons dining room is full of customers for the first time in months. Here we are. Dinner is served. I feel sorry for all of them. Sandy, honestly, I wouldn't even feed that to a dog. Or are you familiar with the area? Living town. Oh, nice. With everyone looking after the restaurant. Water, food, get it out of here. I'm tired of waiting. And Sandy burying himself in the kitchen. There's no one to look after the inn. You guys checking in? We are. 
so the servers are forced to check in guests in the middle of dinner service. The room rate's 275. Is that... Okay. Get that to you right now. Thank you very much. No problem. Is that normal there? Friday night, walking like that? You just charge them $275. Can you just go and ask the owner? Excuse me, Sandy? Yes. How much is Friday walk-in? 209. OK, because okay. Desiree told me 275, so. How come yeah, nobody knows? We need a level of consistency across the board. From now on. 300 with tax is a joke. I don't think I've been properly trained at the desk. I'm, I feel like I'm training myself. Go and apologize to them. So it's 209 now, right? The inn is the busiest it's been in months, but Sandy's still hiding in the kitchen, oh, playing chef. Oh, for God's sake. Upstairs, guests are experiencing the unique charm of the Four Seasons Inn. We don't have any towels, and we found some garbage under the bed. Okay. There's that and a light bulb. I just would have been really upset if my dog had eaten a light bulb. Jeez, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Can't get over the barking dog in the background. Barking is unnerving. I can't believe an owner turned such a blind eye to the problems in his inn. I've got to stop him hiding behind the stove. You take two minutes out, go have a look at the dining room, check on things. Do you have any idea what's going on out there? Right now, I'm needed. I feel my, my need is right back here. Can you handle this line, Steve, for 30 Absolutely, seconds? Chef. Absolutely, Chef. Absolutely, Chef. Has a look at his business before it sinks any further. Is he for real? He's an owner, not someone who should be doing what I should be doing. Bottom line. I've just never seen this shit going on before. This is unorganized fucking chaos, is what this is. I'm glad somebody has got their fingers on the fucking pulse. How was everything? Uh, I'm, I'm a little yeah, I, I didn't eat. Um, my, my risotto wasn't creamy, so therefore one. And the vegetables were very, very hard, like because I'm not gonna How was everything so far? <laughs> they brought the food out the wrong order. They brought the entree first. And, and that was after a 40-minute wait. Being told in the restaurant nothing's at the level you think it was, it's like getting kicked in the nuts. I feel like I just wanted to run into the kitchen and hide. Sandy avoiding his guests is a mad way to run it in. But it's the lack of pay that's crippling his business. I have to confront it head on. Let's have five minutes together in the lounge, please, everybody. Sure. Holy Jesus. What is about to go down now? Who in this room actually gets paid? That's why there's no standards, because nobody's getting paid, so there's no responsibilities. If you pay peanuts, you get monkeys. If you pay nothing, you get fuck all. Zero. It's not a business, it's a fucking joke. Talk to me, Sandy. Honestly, Gordon, we started off with all the good intentions and we've had every bump in the road. Because when we started out, we started out wonderfully. Stop it! It's an embarrassment. Stop the lies. There's no lies, Richard. You were not booming when you first opened. Air it out, go ahead. Nobody believes it, Sandy. Where's your marketing? There's nothing to market. So what have you done? For God's sakes, man. Please. I'm exhausted. It's been nerve wracking to watch this go off in the wrong direction. You can't run a business with no infrastructure. And you can't have a business that's got nobody heading it. Enough for one day. I'm going to pick this up in the morning. Night. Good night, Chef. I wish I could say good night. Ah, truth hurts. I guess I can be one big asshole, can I? A threadbare innings. Horrible. And a disgusting, smelly pillow. So far, my stay at Vermont's fake Four Seasons has been a huge disappointment. <laughs> The owner doesn't know his ass from his elbow. Oh, that's nice. The staff don't get paid. <gasps> the guests are miserable. There's a stain here next to the bed. Only later the dog is happy here. I'm hoping a quick dip in the swimming pool will get my day off to a better start. Does that look like a present from Layla, a floating turd? Oh, my God. Layla, did you shit in the pool? <laughs> There's no way I'm going in there. How about the hot tub? Slightly warm. And Layla hasn't taken a shit in it. Great news. Oh. It's up all the... Oh, man. Actually, the hot tub's quite nice. 
Just what a gorgeous view to the river. This place has a lot of potential, but only if I can get Sandy to stop hiding from his guests and the problems here. I'm going to confront him with his worst nightmare, to wake him up to his responsibilities as an innkeeper. Morning, Gordon. You guys? How you doing, chef? Doing well. Come upstairs. Something I want to show you. Yeah? I'm thinking, OK, he's going to show me something around. Maybe the hole in the wallboard by the door. <sighs> Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. No. There's a room full of people. I thought I was going to pass out. I'm here to help this place. I really need your honest feedback. Sir, would you mind if we start with you? There was a, a sign that I liked when we came in about all dogs have to be on your leash. And we had our dog. And we come in, and it was immediately another dog coming at us, not on a leash. And our dog's friendly, but it always takes a few minutes with new animals. Sure. I had read that it was dog friendly. I thought it was really interesting that there was a dog laying in the dining room. And as much as we like dogs, I don't want a dog in where I'm eating. Um, I agree. I think that's disgusting. There's one last person I'd like to introduce you to, Amy Loomis. This lady is the general manager of one of the Hilton brand hotels. And if there's one thing this lady knows, it's how to run a hotel. First impressions, walking oh. in. At dinner, there was dog hair on the tablecloth, dog hair on the plate that we were given. I asked to speak with a manager. I was told there is no manager. We have an owner. I said I'd like to speak with them then. I was told you were too busy. I've never had the complaints that I had today. It's humiliating. It's embarrassing. It's like being flogged in the center of town. There's something I need to show you all. I need you all to put a pair of these on, please. Oh, no. 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 You OK? You got a funny color? I'm hot and absorbing everything. Yeah? Yes. OK. Lights off. Now, this black light shows up bodily fluids. What? Oh. I see a round circle. I just saw, yeah, just yeah. Oh, right there, round circle. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. oh yeah. Yes. Good one. Hmm. Sandy, can you see that? Yes. Yeah, I slept on that pillow. Oh. Um, charging guests to sleep on such filth is outrageous. The quilt. Oh. See the splashes? Oh, yeah. Do you know what that is? Oh, I don't, don't want to know. Don't I don't want to know. It begins with S. Aww. Yeah, and I'm sorry. Yeah, disgusting. But I want to show you something over by your feet. Sandy, come over here. Oh, no, no, no. Uh -oh. Can you see that? Oh, yeah. The carpet, Sandy? Yes. I mean, honestly, yes. madam, your feet are right on it. Yeah. Look. Yeah. You see that? Yes. Stands on the carpet, or I, I have no idea. That could be a dog, that could be a human. If it's a human, good Christmas. Just when you thought it was safe to walk in bare feet, mm -hmm. trust me, that has never, ever been clean. Ugh. Absolutely disgusting. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Please take your glasses off. Chef, we have uh, another day to stay here today and tomorrow. And after seeing the light, I don't want to stay here tonight. I don't want to put my head on that pillow or any of the other pillows. No one would return. And the existing guests that we have want to check out. Thank you, madam. Please. You. You're looking at a room full of customers who are looking at you saying, I can't believe you put me in there. And that's maddening. And it's embarrassing. I need some fresh air. I feel sick. It sucks to know where I am right, right now. It's horrifying. It does hurt me inside. The tears just keep coming out of my face. It's not what I wanted. I'm mortified. It's been a tough few days at the Four Seasons Inn. Um, do we have another room? Because I'm not going to be staying in here. The food is fucking hideous. This black light shows bodily fluids. Oh. Absolutely disgusting. I don't want to stay here tonight. I don't want to put my head on that pillow. The truth has been hard for Sandy to hear, but he's finally realized the damage that hiding from his customers has caused. Now that I've opened his eyes, 
I've got to figure out a way to make his business work. Hello, Layla. So that Sandy has no excuses not to pay his staff. You have so much weight on your shoulders, and you're being totally oblivious to what your customers need. You cannot run an inn from behind a stove. You're not the head chef. You're the innkeeper. And that can be a, an amazing job. That can be an amazing prospect. That can be an exciting role. Trust okay. me, I am ready. I spent last night crying. There's no lie. This was a dream since I was a little kid. This is what I want. I love what I do. But I would love to get back to where I should be as an innkeeper. You have a potential gold mine here. Embrace it. OK? Yes, sir. I know it's hard. Yeah, you. It's normal to get upset. But just. Embarrassed. Get mortified, your yes. head out, out of my ass. And absolutely start building your dream. We're going to make this work. Thank you, sir. OK? With Sandy committed to change, <laughs> it's time to get the crew involved. Let's go and have a, a couple of minutes outside on the terrace. Uh, they have some very important breaking news. This man, from this day on, is not the head chef. This man is going to become the innkeeper. No longer will he be burying his head inside the kitchen, ignoring issues. He'll be running his inn. You are the chef, and this is your general manager. And as a reminder to make sure we step forward and not backwards, he is not going to be needing these fucking things. <laughs> Say goodbye to Sandy's chef coats. Yeah! <laughs> Gordon, Gordon. Yeah. Burn that thing, get rid of that thing. He has no business wearing it. <laughs> Thank you. You may be a great guy, but you are not a fucking great chef. Let's get that right. There's a big difference. There is. Gordon coming here has opened my eyes to my shortcomings. I love what I do, and I need to start doing it. Got it? Yes, sir. There are some very big changes coming tomorrow. Embrace them. Get ready for it. This inn has been neglected for so long, but now I'm finally giving it the makeover it truly deserves. Come on, girl. Good morning. Good morning, Gordon. Wow. Sandy, you look incredible. Thank you, sir. Man, I feel oh, man. How you doing? I feel liberated, to be honest with you. <laughs> you look great. Huh? With the fresh shave, new haircut, I feel amazing. I feel like a million dollars. I feel like what I spent on my end. Uh, what do you guys think of your new innkeeper? Uh, <laughs> Mr. <Kratty>. Doesn't he? <laughs> you look like a proper innkeeper and an owner. Right, when I first arrived, I drove into the Four Seasons Inn. But this establishment is a one-off. It's not part of a chain, right? Yeah. No, sir. So you deserve your own name, your own identity, and something that you can be proud of. Everybody is going to know you now as. Yes. Welcome. <laughs> Ladies, Riverside Lodge. Great rooms, fresh food, and luxury kennels. <laughs> that is amazing. Layla's Riverside Lodge is amazing. The name's awesome, the sign's beautiful. It's just, uh, screams me. What do you think? I think it's absolutely perfect and represents something so meaningful to Sandy. Mm -hmm. You're absolutely right. You OK? Yeah. Are you sure? I'm positive. Yeah? <laughs> Layla, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Should we go inside? Love to. This is the new reception area. Have a look at this. Oh, shit. Oh, what? <laughs> wow. So, let's welcome our guests in to a proper reception oh, area. This is inviting. This is warm. I love it. Is it nice? Breathtaking. Is it lovely? Gorgeous. If you have an inviting lounge, then you need the menu to go with it. Gents, come through, please. I've created a farm-to-table menu of fresh food that will give people a warm and friendly Vermont welcome. I've revamped the entire menu. Let me tell you about some of my favorites. Homemade country pate. I mean, look where we are. Look at the farm surrounding the inn. 
How can you not have a stunning country pate? Wonderful poutine done with a braised pork shoulder. Stunning chicken pot pie, easy to execute for the kitchen. Baked, job done. And then a stunning Vermont cheesecake. Oh, my God. How are you feeling? Very hopeful for the future now. Are you happier now that Sandy is out of the kitchen? <laughs> I am absolutely ecstatic <laughs> that Sandy is out Good. of the kitchen. <laughs> the menu is absolutely perfect. All right, now, don't be shy. Oh, my God. Wow, that pasta is a world of difference, man. Before, when people asked me where I worked, I used to hang my head and say the Four Seasons. I'm not going to do that no more. I can look them right in the eye and say I work at Layla's. It's going to be good. I'm delighted they like the new name and new menu. I can't wait to see what they think of the bedrooms. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow. Gone is that hideous wallpaper. Replaced with this stunning wooden feature. Oh, I love the deer. Oh, awesome. I love that. that. We have steamed the carpet. So gone are those hideous stains. We have a luxury bed for the dog. And what I was more depressed with than anything was the linen was hideous. We have replaced the bedding in every room of your inn with a hundred thousand dollars of organic linens. Huh? You happy? You happy? Ecstatic. That's really overwhelming. Do you want to see another room? I'd love to. This one you're gonna love. Oh, Welcome. Wow. Oh. Room three. Look at this. Wow. Gone are those flimsy bunk beds. Give your guests some space. It's something I would want to check into. Mm. I love the new rooms. They're amazing. I actually can't wait to clean them. <laughs> I'm really excited about how everything came together. There's one more <laughs> exciting thing I've got to show you, something that I feel can transform this business. You ready? Um, yes, sir. Let's go. I've just revealed yes. the new improvements to Sandy's Inn. However, there's still one more surprise I have for him that will really put Layla's on the map. Welcome to the thing that makes your lodge unique. <laughs> a new and improved dog kennel. Oh, my God. Amazing. I'm stunned. <laughs> um... Wow. We've doubled the size of these kennels. We've made them feel luxurious. We have beautiful brand new bedding. When I first arrived, these kennels felt like a prison. Now it feels like a reward or a treat. Any dog lover want their dogs to stay. Even me, I'd bring my old dogs here. Do you wanna do you wanna meet Rumpole? Rumpole? Oh. Hello, mate. Hello, bud. There he is. Oh, Come here. Rob Paul, meet Layla. Come on. Hello. 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 Oh, yeah. Hey, look oh, at you. Yeah. Who's that? Who's that? Hey, Rob Paul. Huh? Oh, yes. Thank you. Look at that. Oh, the ball. Huh? How gorgeous. Now, this part, for me, is one of the most exciting parts. Come this way. Please come in. Oh, that's really oh. wet. My <laughs> God. I've never seen the kennel with that many dogs and that many people. Oh, you hold my God. God. And that many smiles. Oh, You okay? Yes. You sure? Oh, yes. The dogs are here because we've organized a dog agility competition. Oh, no kidding. Wow. And all the owners are going to be checking in and staying in the inn this evening. Wow. This kind of event can be done every month, which will drive dog enthusiasts to come and stay in your stunning lodge. Sounds amazing. Mm -hmm. So we've livened the place up, given it warmth. Yes. And Sandy, this is Shannon Hagum. You may recognize this lady. Oh, yes, I do. She is a luxury boarding kennel consultant. Thank she you. has very kindly donated to you $10,000 worth of consultancy awesome. that she is going to help wow. implement and get this business off the Thank ground. You. Now, let's get back to the end. Thank you, Madame. With a delicious new menu and a name of its own, Layla's Riverside Lodge is ready to open its doors and show off its stunning new look. Ladies, guys, this is the night that we come back from the dead. We've been afforded all the tools, 
a great front of house, a great back of house. We're gonna make this rock. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Some bar. If we blow this, we're we're screwed. Good evening and welcome to Layla's. My name is Sandy. I'm your innkeeper. Hi. Follow me. I'll take you to your room. Thank you. Here we go. Very nice. Oh, wow. The renovated rooms are a big hit with the new guests. Can't wait to get under the sheets. Let me try this. Oh, yeah. She's got a little place where she can just kind of hang out and just, you know, be herself right by the window. She can look at the pool and... She's got her own porch. Look at that. <laughs> wow. This is awesome. Dinner's underway. It's to die for, isn't it? And at last, Sandy is spending time with his hotel guests and letting his chefs do the cooking. Good evening. How was everything? It was great. Excellent. Fantastic. Tonight is the best night we've had here. There wasn't one complaint. There wasn't one plate with food left on it. This is the difference between last time that we were here and this time. It's just phenomenally different. <laughs> Thanks, Andy. Thank you. <laughs> Well done, steak in the oven. Love the communication, yeah? Tonight, it actually is like cooking in a real kitchen. No Sandy back there. Everybody's trained. Everybody's on the same page. We got great food, everything from scratch. 716. Out through the out. They got any concerns? Good. We're good, no baby. Concerns. That's what I want to hear. And while Sandy's human guests are loving the food, his canine guests are finding lots to love as well. So welcome to the new channel. Wow, right? Carrie, uh -huh. smells nice. You got friends. It's fantastic. Yeah. You have to be thrilled. Yeah. It's beautiful. I'm on cloud nine. I hope to ride this high and for many years to come. I mean, it's pretty awesome. <laughs> this inn is finally on the right track. So it's time for me to say goodbye. All right, well done. Good job. Thank you, Chef. Yeah, really good job indeed. And uh, do not. Let him back in this kitchen. No, sir. No, okay. sir. Right, tough one. We had our highs and lows, but you are really starting to grasp yes. the potential. One more little surprise. Everybody's going on payroll tomorrow. Everybody. They're all going to have a paycheck every week. Really? Yes. That's music to my ears. I'm pleased to hear it. Listen, good luck. Thank you, sir. Take care. Bye. Take care. Gordon, save my lodge, save my ass, save my life. Sandy's running around like a, a new man. He's starting to look and sound like an innkeeper. And if he keeps this up, this gorgeous inn can become an amazing place for a great weekend. Bravo. Let's go. Come on. Come on, bye. Come on. You can't stay. Come on. Come on. Oh, I know the room's nice, but we've got to go home. Come on. You lazy fucker. Come on. We've got to go. We have to go. I know it's comfy. Come on. You, young man, are lazy. Home sweet home. Oh, I know. This way. Come on. Come on. Good boy. Let's go. Here we go. Yes. Do you know what, Ron Paul? Sometimes you can teach an old dog new tricks. Or at least make him take a bath. Good morning, Layla's Riverside Lodge. Since my visit, business at Layla's has been booming, and everyone is sharing in the uh, inn's success. It's 500 bucks. Tomorrow, W2, Eddie Rock, OK? Thank you. We got a great team, and you're part of it. My staff means the world to me. Every week, you get paid. Fantastic. Thank Why everyone in here, man? Because it's a team effort. You've got to have people that believe in you. Every week, you get a paycheck. Thank you. No, thank you. Thank you, Gordon, from the bottom of my heart. Oops. If it hadn't been for you, I would not be here. That's the truth. Thank you. And now, all the staff are back in Sandy to make Layla's Riverside Lodge a success. Oh. Rich, you said you'd take it for the team, brother. Here we go. Finally, with something to market, Richard is taking his sales technique to a whole new level. Oh, yeah, baby. Come on, Rich. Let's go have a look at the side. Wait, come, come, come here and hold my paw. <laughs> Woo! 